Everybody, uh, welcome to the course. Thanks for, I reckon, two thirds of you for showing up. Uh, it's probably just as well given I can't see that many seats left. Um, unfortunately, we're going to be in here every Tuesday. Um, so what we're going to require you to do is cramp up around the tables, use these front benches. But during the exercise periods, we've got the tables outside so we can go out there, spread out a little bit for the exercises. Uh, the course, just in case you've gone to the wrong place, is Innovation and Product Development uh, uh, 42629. Uh, and I'm Thomas Howard. Uh, here's some of the other members of crew here. Uh, would you like to uh, say hello, introduce yourself? So that's purely for legal requirements, uh, just in case we have grade disputes. Uh, obviously, it's not the case. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do with the recordings yet, but hopefully they'll be uh, useful for you guys. We'll put them on the internet, uh, perhaps either on CampusNet or the uh, homepage, so you can download them or reference them if you miss something. Um, having said that, I hope you two turn up to all the lectures anyway. Oh, just a little point. Um, this logo here is the Creative Commons license, uh, which means you're free to uh, take these slides and distribute them, do whatever you like with them, change them, uh, use them for your own purposes. Um, a few of the uh, slides in, on this at the moment, I haven't actually asked permission to have the Creative Commons license on, so you'll see uh, the Creative Commons license crossed out. Uh, but I'll, I'll contact the authors of the original slides and ask for permission uh, in the future. Uh, to give you an outline of the agenda today, um, the first 30 minutes is going to be basically an introduction to all the administration around the course. Uh, it's going to be a little bit boring, I think, uh, but hopefully we'll get onto some more interesting stuff a little bit later. Um, then we have the Ventures Cup. Uh, Mikhail from the Ventures Cup, he's the regional director. And he's going to introduce to you how this course kind of fits with the Ventures Cup uh, competition. So hopefully, the outputs of your projects in this course will be entered to the Ventures Cup. And you never know, you may even win some money from it. So I'm the course responsible. I'm an associate professor in DTU Mechanical Engineering. Um, we've just moved over from management, but I'm actually in the section of KMP which I think is engineering design and product development in English. Uh, you've got my email address there and my website. Um, and that's where most of the course details are held at the moment. But I realize somebody has already had problems downloading the slides on the website today. Um, just wondering, has anyone else managed to download the slides? Has anyone else had problems downloading them? OK. <coughs> I'll try a different technology or I'll just move back to CampusNet. So straight after this lecture, I'll put the slides on CampusNet, go back to the old trusted and faithful. Uh, also, we're quite lucky this year. Um, Jakob uh, Anderson here. Um, is that how you pronounce your surname? Yeah, something like that. Okay, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's the CEO of a company called Edgeflow, um, and he's in a bit of downtime between... Uh, grants money for his, uh, for his company at the moment and decided he wanted to do impart some of his knowledge by getting involved in this course. And uh, uh, basically, I'm very grateful for him at the moment for the contributions he's making. Um, he'll be providing a couple of lectures for you this year. Just to give a bit of background about myself, um, I was educated in Great Britain. Um, I studied mechanical engineering at the University of Bath. Um, I did my PhD there, uh, specialising on design engineering. I then did a knowledge transfer fellowship where I was kind of consulting for lots of small, medium-sized enterprises around the south of England, uh, helping them out with things like design for manufacture, design for assembly, uh, basic consulting, really. Um, my interests are basically any area to do with engineering design, but I have particular specialty in the creative design process where my PhD uh, was laying, and also uh, engineering design information management. 
So the research I was doing with some of the companies was looking at how we can control some of their ideas, uh, how we can capture and record some of their ideas to reuse them for new projects. Uh, I'm currently involved in the Innovation and Product Development course, uh, which is this one, uh, but I've also taught on the uh, Product Development and Company, uh, Development Projects in Companies, I think that's supposed to say. Um, I also uh, lecture, guest lecture, on integrated product development and help out on various other courses. One of the reasons I was so keen to um, get the Ventures Cup involved in this, uh, this year was um, when I was at your stage doing my masters, uh, I won a uh, BMW European Scientific Award. Um, and I just felt that process was one of the most important things in my education as an engineering designer. I thought having a competition which you can kind of drive forward your, uh, your products in, have something to aim for, gave me a better education than most of the theoretical aspects around some of the courses I was taking. Uh, so that's kind of what I want to get out of this course for you. Um, there are some seats around the front here, by the way, sorry, if you'd like to go sit on them. But you can always save it for the break if you like. I think we may be in this situation uh, most Tuesdays, so uh, try get cosy. So as I say, I'm trying to get the emphasis of this course really on trying to get you to take your products and business ideas to fruition, not just to... Uh, do some exercises using particular tools, methods, or processes on your uh, product design, but actually getting them working, getting them turned into real businesses, seeing if you can progress in this competition. <coughs> I'm just going to pass over now to uh, Jakob, who's going to introduce himself. Thanks, Thomas. Well, as Thomas said, my name is Jacob Edison. I'm uh, currently the acting CEO of a small Danish startup called uh, Edgeflow. Uh, we do a uh, certain type of uh, wind turbine that's supposed to be mounted on big box-shaped buildings, for instance, industrial buildings in the periphery and the outskirts of, uh, of cities. Uh, so that's uh, sort of my day job. Uh, but as Thomas says, uh, right now, we're as, as is the case so often with the small ventures, we're looking for money. Uh, and we've been looking for money several times, and uh, we've succeeded on uh, most of the occasions up until now, so I'm confident that we'll succeed in this, uh, on this occasion as well. Uh, but I have some spare time, and I thought, um, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, intelligent heads at the DTU. I think there's a lot of good ideas. And uh, what I figured out when I started this company is actually, you can actually build your own company. You can actually develop your idea into something that grows and something that uh, becomes a real thing. And it's not at all as scary as one might think. So essentially, I'm here to tell you about my experiences with Edgeflow and how they can relate to what you're facing in the coming months of uh, this course. And uh, feel free to contact me at any time. I realized that there wasn't actually any uh, mail address for me on the slide before, but uh, that's because I don't have one yet. Uh, as soon as I get one, I'll pass it around. And of course, you can contact me with any questions. I'll be participating in the courses, and uh, I've been through a lot of the stuff that we will be uh, looking into in this course. So I have some, uh, probably some, uh, some uh, real-world experience uh, that I can uh, hopefully relate in an understandable way to you uh, during the course. Um, and uh, I guess that's pretty much what I want to say. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, can I just ask, did, yeah. you, um, did you start Edgeflow? While you were at DTU, or is no, that something no, that I came didn't up? actually. I did my thesis on uh, where, if at all, uh, anywhere, uh, it would make sense to put up wind turbines if, if it were uh, in cities or uh, close to buildings. And the conclusion was essentially, no, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> uh, except for one place, and that was uh, around big industrial estates, um, like factories, uh, warehouses, things like that, IKEAs. Uh, use uh, centers there, places like that, because uh, the wind accelerates as, as it hits the facades of these buildings. I, had, I have also a fluid dynamics background, so I did a lot of uh, computational fluid dynamics on it, did some calculations on it. 
And, uh, and what actually happened is that we figured out there was actually this area of opportunity and that's what we tried to seize. And uh, what happened is I was hired into an architectural firm uh, and worked there for, well, six or eight months, I think. And after that, we realized that if this thing is supposed to accelerate the, want, the way we want it to accelerate, we actually have to get some funding from the outside. We have to build a company and we have to, well, get going. And that's how we started Edgeflow in 2009. Uh, so that's also why some of the co-founders are, uh, well, of course, a design a manager called Henning Solfeld from this architectural firm and also the architectural firm itself, PLH Architects. And I'm the third co-founder. So that's how that happened. Thanks, Jacob. Um, some of the other people you might recognize who are lecturing on the course, uh, Tim McAloon uh, has been doing a guest lecture. In fact, I think he was one of the, the starters of this actual course, uh, how it was back several years ago. Uh, he'll be providing a lecture on some of his perspectives on creating a business model. Uh, he actually set up his own business years back, so he's got some very nice uh, personal reflections on the process. Uh, we have a guest lecturer from, um, oh, she's got the wrong title on the screen there, um, but she works for, I think it's HG Consulting, uh, IP Consulting, or, well, it's basically a, an intellectual property firm. So she'll take you through some suggestions on how you may protect your ideas uh, if you want to exploit them best in the marketplace. And also we have uh, the co-founder and uh, lead of the Innovation Labs. It's uh, basically a, a network hub for innovation companies, um, which is down by, uh, situated down by CBS, but it has various plants um, over Denmark. And he's going to come in and we're hopefully going to produce a, a process or a methodology uh, for prototyping your products and designs. We also have a couple of guest lecturers from uh, CBS, uh, Boulder and Morton. They've got similar expertise to me uh, in the creative process, creative design methods, and they're going to lecture on that, and we're going to do a, a four-hour slot, uh, I think, on the fourth Tuesday, uh, showing you some creativity approaches. And then we also have uh, Mikhail Sorensen, who is the regional manager of the Venture Cup. So he'll be your, basically your contact point for the competition. Uh, he's coming in to give a small lecture in a moment, uh, but also he'll be helping to run some of the pitch coaching sessions and giving you some insights into how to write a business plan. We also have two student helpers. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Um, yes. Uh, my name is Shannon. I'm the one over there. <laughs> It seems to be a seasoned competition goers. Um, but I also work with these two uh, for the uh, ICED conference, the engineering, uh, International Engineering Design Conference. I was looking through the uh, Ventures Cup website and saw this picture and thought, ah, oh, those are two familiar faces. Um, so hopefully they'll be uh, really useful for you people to pick their brains and find out how to progress in the competition. Uh, the course material, uh, it looks like I'm going to be using CampusNet a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, I'll, I'll try to fill up the student uh, folders with, well, I'll put weekly folders here now uh, with the presentations, uh, but also we'll create some subgroups. So when you finally get into your groups this Friday, uh, you'll have your own 
group with just your group members having access to it. We also have uh, the website, which is where most of the uh, data is stored at the moment, and the, I was hoping to use as the main interface with this course. Um, but if you go onto the uh, website, this particular page, uh, you'll see the menu here. And we'll just go through these links quite quickly. Um, firstly, there's a, a calendar where you can see all the details of the, the various lectures. And I'll try to keep these project, um, uh, project work up to date. Basically, most of the uh, lecturing work and the guest lectures are done on the Tuesdays. And every Friday, you'll get together as a group and we may meet up just beforehand for me to give you some essential information, but really Fridays is about you getting together and progressing your projects together. The assessment and hand-ins. Now, I guess this is going to be a particularly important point for you people, so feel free to interject, ask me any questions you want. The assessment is going to be 80% on your entrepreneurial output. So this really means it's not about your process or how you use the course material. In fact, if you want to ignore everything I say, it's pretty much OK as long as you do a good job of uh, producing a, a product and a business plan. But I'm hoping the stuff which we, we expose to you on the Tuesdays will be useful and will guide you and help you to produce your product and your business plan. The 80% will consist of your actual business plan that you submit to the Ventures Cup and to CampusNet, to the business pitch. So after you do it, you'll do a business pitch to some of the jury of the Ventures Cup who will also be acting as your examiners, your external examiners, um, and the quality of your solution. So I'm expecting you to submit alongside the business report an appendix of material uh, detailing the technicalities of the product you produced. We're also going to have an analysis presentation. So partway through the course, you'll be expected to present your progress. And this is a typical stage gate. So at some point, you'll be saying, OK, here's where we are. Here's the problem as we define it. Here's our business opportunity or our business niche. Uh, we think we've got a good chance of success in this area. And that's what I'll be expecting at the analysis presentation. And what we'll be marking is the handout uh, printed slides. So you'll present five slides and you'll hand in five, uh, uh, the printouts of the five slides you're presenting. Um, because the course was oversubscribed and because the group work element is such an important part of this course, um, I've decided to also work your attendance into this as well. Um, so if you're not turning up and you're not helping out your group, your grades on these two reports will suffer from it. Um, you'll also be requested to submit a reflection report. Um, so this is a kind of, this is the real learning process. Now, once you've finished your business plan, you're expected to look back over the procedure and think, if I was to do this again, what would I have done differently? You know, perhaps you made a decision too early. Perhaps you didn't look into uh, the market enough. Perhaps there was one particular point where you went wrong. But I want you to reflect on all these points, and there'll be some guidance for you. Um, there's also an online submission form for this uh, reflection report. Uh, so it's got a very standard template, so you don't have to worry about how it's constructed. Just fill in the fields. Do you have any questions on that evaluation? OK. And uh, just an open question, really. It, how do you feel about the idea of being, being marked and graded on your, purely on your outputs, on your performance, rather than how you're using course material or how you're following a procedure or a method? OK, all right. And does anyone have any concerns or reservations about that? OK, that's, that's really good. I, I need to get stress that point from the beginning, um, because what I felt in the previous years is I'm asked questions such as, 
if I, if I do this, if I follow this method, will I get good grades? And I think that's really fundamentally the wrong attitude to have during this course. You're not going to get good grades if you're not going to produce a creative, innovative business idea which you can actually make work. That's the purpose of this course. And now I've tried to lay out here um, some objective reasoning behind the criteria which will be marked on. And this is based on some of the uh, Ventures Cup uh, evaluation criteria which Mikhail at the back will introduce to you in a moment. Um, but essentially what we have here is that the lectures you'll be going to this year, the elements of the report, so it's a very standard business plan you'll be producing uh, with, with these various elements. And you can see I've basically done a matrix to show how the lectures relate to the sections of the business plan and also how the various criteria relate to the sections of the business plan and the lectures as well. It's a bit hard to digest there, but it's on the website. You can have a look at it and see where the lectures fit in and where some of the lectures may help you when producing your business plan. Okay. So the analysis presentation, sorry, just to recap, will be five slides outlining something like your technology and product, your target market and its estimated size, your business plan, what you need uh, to achieve your goals. So it's not just about reflecting on where you've come from, it's thinking about can you actually achieve this in the timescales given? How do you rate your chances of success? And the deadline for this will be on the midterm presentation, which is the 20th of March. So during the presentation, you hand in your set of slides, um, and that's what we'll be marking. Now, it's quite normal for your groups to have different roles. So obviously, I expect you all to contribute to the analysis presentation. But one of you and your team may be an extremely good presenter. And given that it's only a five-minute slot, you may choose just for one person to present your pitch for you but I expect you all to be there at least to answer questions. So when the jury or myself wants to ask questions, I can direct it to whoever I like. The reflection report uh, can be filed online. It's a, just an online form like this. Um, you can find it on the assessment page, and the deadline for that will be the 11th of May. So basically, the time frame is you finish and submit your business plan and your product idea, you finish your, uh, your reflection report, and then you do your final exam or business pitch in front of the jury. We have two books, and I'm not going to base this course around the chapters at all. If you just want some extra guidance, I would recommend these are two reasonably good books to help you out. Um, some of the presentation material are taken from these, um, this is Ulrich and Eppinger's, I think this is the fifth edition now of product design and development. It's got some really good cases in there. Um, so you can actually follow through some, some exercise based on real cases. Um, and this uh, Exploring Innovation by David Smith um, has been the book basically behind this course since its beginning. Uh, that's also got some very useful tools and methods in it. The lectures. Uh, planned out as follows. We've got the introduction today, looking at design and business strategies, integrated product development, innovation and creativity and problem solving. That's when the guys from CBS will be coming in. Uh, market, customer research and forecasting, which uh, Jakob will be uh, contributing to. Creating a business plan from Tim. Innovation types and cases. I'm going to get some uh, various speakers to come in and introduce their, uh, their cases about how they progress their uh, ideas. Um, then your midterm presentation, lecture on intellectual property, how you can protect your ideas and your business. How to pitch a business idea, which uh, is going to come from the guys from the Ventures Cup. Mikhail's going to talk to you about that in a moment. Uh, funding, organizational structures and teams, and then the protivation lecture, hopefully 
encouraging you to make some kind of prototypes or test your, your designs. Uh, each of the lecture page will have <laughs> embedded in them the presentations, which on my PC at least, I can click that button there and download the presentations. I'll have another go at that, see if I can make it work, but otherwise they'll be on campus now. But I'm also hoping to embed the videos from these lectures into these pages as well, so if you need to reference them or one of your teammates has missed a lecture and you'd like them to see it, you can point them towards this point. Homework. Um, really, I'm, I'm going to give you a few little exercises to do, like I already have in terms of coming up with business ideas ready for the first Friday, but most of your homework is going to be about developing your business and your project. Um, so it's not going to be any extra little tasks. All the lecture work, all the exercises will be based around applying it to your business case, your product. Also, there might be a little bit of background reading. I may pick out specific papers and I'll put those into the uh, uh, lecture, onto the following lecture for you to access and download. Um, so here's a picture from last year. Don't know whether you can recognize uh, some of these guys, but it's kind of a, a benefit and a drawback we are our slot for group work is on the Friday afternoon, um, which means most of you want to go out and have a few beers around town, and I don't blame you. Um, but you're welcome on some of the days, if you're having a more relaxed day, bring some cake along, bring a few beers along, relax and enjoy the session. Sometimes it's not particularly suitable if you really need to crack on and do some work, but at other points you really need to expand your ideas, uh, produce a good breadth of solutions and, and thoughts, and it's probably a good idea to create a cosy atmosphere, have a few beers, relax, but don't do it every week. Okay, just before the break, can I take any questions from anyone? Okay. Not sure whether to be worried. Oh, go ahead. Hearing uh, your uh, uh, presentation, I, I can see that we, we have to come up with a business idea that's related to, related to product, not service. Is that correct? Uh, so the question there was, um, do we have to come up with a business idea which is specifically related to a product? Can we not come up with a service? Um, I think it's, it's been in your interest in the past in this course to come up with product-related ideas because mm -hmm. it's been the basis of much of your education, um, but you'll see several themes uh, which you could submit your business plan to, and they're perfectly accepting of services. Um, so you're not limited to products, um, but just be wary that you're probably going to be a little bit more supported if you do choose a product. Any other questions? Okay, so let's take a 15 minutes break now and then we'll come back with Mikhail. So come back at quarter past, please. <laughs>